everybody, Old School NYC Gamer here once again with another video. And thank you everybody for tuning into Tabletop Times episode number 17. Yeah, 17 episodes of this. I'm actually quite surprised I've gone this far with this series, but there's so many great tabletops, you know, that I've shown here, and this one is no exception. So without further ado, let me show you what it is. Well, if you can't tell what it is by now, everybody, it is Caveman. Now, of course, this also came out, I believe, in 1982 or 1983. I'm not exactly sure on the year, but I would believe it was 82, since Tomy did release quite a few tabletops back around that time. Now, of course, what I have here is the Tandy version, which was uh, released by Radio Shack. Uh, the Tomy version is actually in red. Uh, I believe Grandstand uh, may have had a white color uh, in the UK. So I'm not specifically sure. I mean, if you go look on the net, you could find out the exact, uh, you know, information for that. But, you know, I really did look well enough to see that, uh, you know, I thought what I had was the original by Tomy. But, of course, when I checked and said Tandy, uh, this, is, this one's in brown where Tomy's in red. And I believe the Grandstand version is in white. So anyway, uh, you know, this game is semi-scarce, not necessarily... A hard game to find in the wild but if you can't find it it's definitely worth playing so without further ado as in every video I'm going to show you a little bit uh, in depth of the tabletop itself and some gameplay and uh, we'll be right back okay everybody so let's check out caveman in all its glory and of course like I said with the Tommy tronic game designs here that he did for the tabletops very simplistic as I will show you right here now of course instead of going up and down you're only going to move left and right you have your amateur and pro setting, your on and off switch, and your start and shoot. Now, you'll see what I mean when I'm talking about that. Now, the point system here is very simple. As you can see right here, you get 10 points, 30 points if you uh, hit the uh, dinosaur, and 50 points to steal the egg. Now, basically, caveman, as you can see right here, uh, you basically have to take the egg from the dinosaur while avoiding the attack of the di dinosaur and the uh, pterodactyls and the volcanic bombs. So like I said, really, you just have to run back and forth to uh, get the egg while, you know, the mama dinosaur isn't really paying attention. And, of course, you know, you can also throw a stone hatchet if they try to come down and uh, grab you. But like I said, you'll see more of this in the gameplay. Now, of course, this does take four C batteries right there. And it does take a six DC volt uh, power supply. So there you go, people. So without further ado, let's check out some of the gameplay here. And I will be right back. Okay, everybody. So without further ado, let's check out Caveman. And I'm going to turn it on right here. Now, like I said before, the gameplay is very simplistic, but yet very addictive. Now, of course, you got to watch out for the volcanic stones. As you can see, all those little red dots right there. And, of course, you know, the egg's got to drop down here. You have to run and grab it. And, of course, if you want to stun the, you know, mama dinosaur, you could throw your hatchet. While the egg is still rolling down here, you can grab it and then bring it back to the base. So without further ado, let's check it out. You see that's the first egg right there. And I stunned her. Let's grab the egg and bring it back over. Now of course you got to kind of keep repeating this. But of course you got to watch out that she doesn't wake up. Because the timing is a little tricky. Just got to watch out for the stars right there. As she will come out. And of course you do got to grab that egg before it hatches. Because that's your missed opportunity right there. Oh, and there you go, people. So basically, you have to collect about seven to eight eggs. And, of course, this is going to repeat over and over. And, of course, it will get harder because now you're going to have a pterodactyl on your tail. So you got to really be careful. Of course, that's one egg that just hatched over.
course, you can't throw that up in the air and knock that pterodactyl out, but you got to really be careful. And of course, the pterodactyl actually will also steal your eggs as well, so you, you got to be on the on two fronts. So you see right here, I'm going to try to get them. Yep, and there you go. So that's 10 points right there for me. But like I said, you know, it's uh, you really got to really pay attention to what you're doing here. So you see that pterodactyl just stole my eggs. So not only am I grabbing eggs, I'm also, you know, I got to protect them from the pterodactyl. And you can see right there, I'm dead. So that's the basic premise of the gameplay here. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts and we'll be right back. So everybody, that was Caveman, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really do got to say, it's definitely a fun game. Very dang challenging, especially when you get to the second level of this. And it's as pretty far as I've gotten. Uh, I haven't honestly put too much time into this, but I would like to when I have a little more free time. Uh, definitely, once again, one of the few tabletops that, uh, you know, that came out around that time that actually does have quite a bit of replayability, and Tommy really did a good job. Uh, you know, doing uh, these specific tabletops. And, you know, I can't really say that much about it, but if you could find this out in the wild, I would say get it. Now, of course, in the market, uh, you know, out there in uh, Internet land, uh, actually, this is semi-scarce in a way, but I wouldn't, you know, I can't be the expert on that. Uh, but from looking at the prices, this one specifically, the uh, bottom dollar I've been seeing on these, Minimum is 55 to 60 dollars and up. So if you could find one of course way cheaper I would say definitely get it of course if you could get a box for a very good price I would definitely uh, you know go for it. You know a lot of hardcore collectors would definitely want this their collection uh, For the most avid or you know novice uh, collector. I would say To pass on it, but if you could find it for a good price, I definitely would recommend picking this up uh, well, like I said, you know, as always, people, that's about it for Tabletop Times, and thank you for tuning into episode number 17. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down at the bottom there. And as always, I, I am on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, and Daily Motion. so if you want to interact with me on those sites, you can do so. All the links will be down at the bottom, and that's about it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good night, and take care. Cheers.